This is truly mind blowing. Two individuals whose hearts been, have been affected by this, Hamza Chamai. But in the cage, you are an animal and, and you went out there and did your job tonight. And Dave Chappelle. You're, you're a Muslim? I am. When did you become Muslim? I was 17. What were the circumstances? I don't know, it was like believing in God and stuff. So just recently what we've seen, we've seen Hamza Chamai after his victory in the UFC coming out. Guys, you know what's happening in the world now, right now? I wasn't happy in the cage, fight this week, or oh, see the kids dying. It doesn't matter, whatever in the world, Ukraine. And <laughs> when kids die, it's hard, guys. You can see the sadness that's overtaken him from seeing these innocent children being massacred. <laughs> Because the people in the Palestine or sector, they don't have nothing. They close them and attack them every day. They not kill some terrorists or some like people. They kill the kids, old people, you know, this is a crazy. And what we have from Dave Chappelle, allegedly, this is coming out from the Washington Post. Here's how it went down per the attendees. Chappelle condemned the acts of October 7, but said it was wrong for students to lose their job offers over their support for Palestine. This prompted an audience member to shout, shut the F up, Dave. This is what triggered more of a reaction from Chappelle, according to the attendees. He said the attacks were not an excuse to cut off water, electricity. Some people in the audience cheered and shouted, free Palestine, while others yelled, what about this group? A couple of attendees say Dave also said free Palestine, but others say in the crowd that he didn't, they didn't hear him say that. We have this, I guess this is from one of the attendees saying something in America is changing. I saw Dave Chappelle last night at the Boston Garden. It was sold out. So Dave Chappelle's in front of 22,000 people, three-fourths in the show, three-fourths into the show. He said, I want to address what's going on in Palestine and Israel. Then he said also what's going on isn't right and not just, but also what's going on, obviously with the uh, massacre of the innocent men, women, and children there in Gaza is not right. You can't kill innocent civilians like that and the whole world sits silently and watches. Then someone shouted at him from the crowd. Again, shut the up. Dave then went nuts and yelled back, no, you. Dave Chappelle went on to say, you don't take tens of billions from my country to go kill innocent women and children and then tell me to shut the up. He said, don't come begging for money from my country and then go drop bombs on children, cut off innocent people from water and electricity. You have the audacity to pay to come see me and then tell me to shut up. It goes on to say the crowd started clapping and cheering for him saying, yes, Dave, and chance of free Palestine. And then he said, you're damn right, free Palestine. He went on a 15 minute rant about being a Muslim and that Israelis are projecting what's wrong with them on Muslims. And the crowd kept on cheering. It was surreal. Crowd was typical Boston demographic. So this is true, this is accurate. Dave Chappelle taking a stand, it's being affected, obviously what's going on. People are watching the mainstream media, they're not really getting the full picture. So he's probably seeing all of the images of innocent men, women, and children there. It's a complete massacre. And then you have Hamza Chamai also, you can see, let's go ahead and take a, a listen to him right after his, about what he had to say. I see the kids dying, you know, so that's, 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 that's hard. There's a lot of things in my heart, so sorry, guys. Okay, thank you, Pamza. So you can see the mainstream media so as if they're reading a script, as if it's passed down to them and they got a script. There's certain points they go by and that's it. They don't deviate from that. It's like they have an agenda, they're pushing it. Anybody who questions it, they try to cancel. The propaganda narrative is so deeply ingrained and enforced that if you refuse to go along with the narrative, if you won't say the words that they want you to say, if you express your thoughts differently than what is allowed, just listen to Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, mm -hmm. they're all saying the same things. And that should give you a warning right there. And if you say anything different than what Fox and NBC and CBS and all the other networks are saying, then you are, you're vilified, you're not allowed to speak, you're not qualified to speak, you shouldn't be even allowed to open your 
your mouth. That's the attitude. But these two are brave enough, stepping up and speaking on behalf of the children, on behalf of the innocent, innocent human beings. This is, this is something that should really awaken us and have us to ask ourselves, where are we? If we're people of God, if we're people that now believe in a higher power, do you think God Almighty is going to stand with the oppressors, with the unjust, to go ahead and sanction something like this, even though you have people even trying to justify <laughs> There is no mercy. You may think you're being merciful to a child, but you're not being merciful to the child. You're being vicious to the ultimate victim that this child will grow up and kill. Because the ideology that that child will grow up with is even worse than the ideology of his father. Hence the reason why the Torah in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20, verse 16, says, Rules of war, Lo techaye kol neshama, do not allow anyone to remain alive. Nothing. No mercy. Furthermore, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 25, verse 19, completely erase any memory of Amalek, which means men, women, and children, the Torah says, do not have the right to exist. As I started, this is truly mind-blowing, but it's nice to see people like this while people are paying celebrities to go ahead and to advertise. Every day, it was just nonstop. You were cucking for the Israeli government. Yeah, but I wish I hadn't gone, really. You have these people doing this for free because they're seeing, they're seeing it's affecting their hearts, seeing these innocent children. Being massacred is truly just mind blowing, heartbreaking. Commend both of them for taking center stage and creating some awareness to this, being a voice for the voiceless. We'll see you next time. Until then, peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. Brothers and sisters, we've all had loved ones that passed away a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, a close family member. But one of the mercies of our deen is that with the right intention, we can go ahead and continue to do good deeds on our loved one's behalf. And what greater of a continuous good deed, Sadaqa Jadia, than investing on their behalf in the Deen Center, a masjid and Megadawa Center that will benefit generations to come, inshallah. So click the link below, donate right now. May God Almighty Allah reward all of you. I, I cannot leave without giving you a gift. If you're not yet Muslim and you're tuning in to see what these Muslims are talking about and you like a free copy of the Quran, Go ahead and visit thedeanshow.com. We'll take care of the postage and everything and get it delivered to you. And if you still have some questions about Islam, call us at 1-800-662-4752. We'll see you next time. Until then, peace be with you. Assalamu